Hey everyone, Oliver here. Um, I play the instrument, the ukulele, and um, you may be wondering, I did not know that. You did not know that because I've never told you. How self-explanatory self from Captain Obvious. Um, but what I want to show you today is just a couple cool things that I, through my journey playing the ukulele, that I figured out and I thought are quite interesting. And I know this type of video is a little uh, strange for my first uh, video of the ukulele, me and the ukulele, um, but I just want to kind of share my adventure with this amazing instrument. Um, I love this. I treasure this like I would treasure my camera in filmmaking. Um, so I'm just going to show you something uh, cool, and I, I apologize in advance. I don't have much time to make this video, so I'm just doing it one cut, but still you can learn great stuff from an uncut uh, video, so I apologize for lack of tech-savvy awesomeness. Uh, well put. Um, so, something interesting. Uh, as you, if if you are familiar with this instrument, uh, first or any instrument, I guess. First string is at the bottom. Last string is at the top. So it's, so it says, first finger on the first fret of the first string. Boom, right there. So we're gonna go to a. Um, I forget the name of this chord, but it's at the beginning of uh, the song Mr. Reggae. Mr. Reggae. And it goes on like that. Um, but if you're familiar with that song, you know the chord. It's not E minor. E minor is like that. Um, I forget the name of it, but E... I don't know. But this chord here, I learned it from the song Mr. Reagan. The chords in that go... Uh, that's a D, I believe. Um... But I found something interesting. Um, when I was learning a, uh, a rhythm, the one that goes like this, I forget the guy that made it, but he's a cool dude. Um, this. That. When I was learning it, I messed up the chord a little bit, and instead of going here, putting my ring finger on the second fret, I put it on the third fret. And I came, and I sort of made up, accidentally, this beautiful... Doesn't that sound amazing? And then you're thinking, oh, that sounds a little, little off, a little strange. But when we go from there to C, take off our first two fingers and go to the chord of C, we get this lovely da da da. It doesn't, I'm not. It's too high, but you know what I mean, right? Like it just sounds amazing. But it's like no dirt. It sounds amazing. It's just a chord on the ukulele. But I'm getting something awesome. And if you play uh, a little bit quicker with a faster rhythm, uh, down, down, up, up, down, strumming pattern. So it sounds pretty cool, right? Um, but then what we do, back to the Mr. Reggae song, um, what the difference is, uh, the song that I, the tune I just played was like this, Mr. Reggae, you switch the, the strings of your index finger and ring finger. So you bring your index finger down here and your ring finger up here. And you get a much more suspenseful, mysterious, kind of like, ooh, just slapped your butt kind of feel. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit strange, but it's sort of what it sounds like. Ooh, whoa, what was that? Anyways, so if you use the C, the C chord, how we did with our original beautiful chord, then C, just like this, the ring finger, third fret, first string. If we use that after our Mr. Reggae chord, which is switched like that, I'm sorry, the, the, this is the, the beautiful C chord and our Mr. Reggae is switched like that, and we still go to C, it gives us a much more, ah, oh, I just got beat up, but I'm coming back home to kiss my girlfriend, or something like that. Very, like, hopeful, but kind of sad, kind of, um, way of a song. So... First, we have the more joyful cruising on the beach and swimming and having a beautiful time playing the beautiful ukulele. You know what I mean? More calming, peaceful, sounds lovely, like you'd play at a wedding or something like that. But then when we switch it, we get a much more suspenseful or mysterious, just got beat up. But then I'm coming home to kiss my girlfriend. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's amazing when you're not reading the lyrics or chords from a song. 
from a particular song or a sheet of music given to you, what you can accomplish by making mistakes, playing an instrument, and that goes for anything in life. Uh, making a film, how I make films. This uh, making mistakes has taught me so much because through making mistakes, you can create a creation that's uniquely your own creation. A lot of creations in there, but that's just something I think that it's a great analogy for life that just so happens to fit with the ukulele. So I hope you kind of found this video a little bit inspirational, kind of um, joyous, and um, sorry for the lack of tech savviness, as I said before. Didn't have much time to make this video, so just doing it straight up, boom, like that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to have a wonderful night. I'm making this at nighttime, so that's what it is for me. Morning, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this, have a great time of that. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your dog and your grandma. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. See you guys.